Hi, I'm Sally, and this is a tutorial for my Scottish flag, or St Andrew's Cross flag. You will need blue and white bands. So, let's get started. So you will need your loom in the straight configuration, so all the same length. Place it sideways. And taking double bands, we're going to go along our loom. So double white bands, we're going to go along our loom six times. And this will make, this will form one half of the cross. So that's four, five, and six. And we're gonna do the exact same thing again along the other side. Like this. We're going to place a cap band on here and on here. So, single band, wrap it around the pin three times. And on the other side. Like this. And then we're just going to loop it up to going inside the cap band, pushing it back with the back of your hook. And just go all the way and down. Same again on this one. And then we're just going to remove these to the point that they're still on these pins here. We just need a little bit more space to uh, to work. So we're just going to take these off so they're not in our way. They'll be fine there. And then we are going to go along our loom seven times. So. Before we do that, you want to take one blue and one white band and just place them over the bottom band here, which will be the bottom corner of your design. Taking double blue bands, you're going from the side to the centre and then you're just going to finish that line across there and now we're going to go along seven times, seven times, so, it's two, three, four, and seven, same on the other two rows, just gonna go straight across, and this is quite obviously the background for our flag. And one last lot to do. It's not a difficult design, it's pretty easy. So hopefully you won't str struggle with it too much and be able to follow it quite easily. So once you've done your three rows of seven, we're gonna place bands across here. So from the center to each side, just at the bottom of those bands, like so. Placing a cap band on this center pin so just a single band wrapped around three times like this 
Now we're going to place some vertical bands on. So you're just taking a band and just running it across the three pins here and here. And you're going all the way along so you stop just before the last set of pins. We need to push your bands down if they've got a bit high the way you've laid them out. So you should have something that looks like this. We're now going to add on part of our white cross. The first two, so we're going to do these two corners basically. So you place one in one corner like this, the other's going to go in this opposite corner. You want to put them so that they're slanted inwards because they're going to be pulled all the way over to the other corners. Then going in through this cap band, pushing it back, you want to find the top two bands, whichever way they go, and then pull them back from the pin that they've come from. Same again, go in and find the pin and again in whoops find the band and hook it over the pin and then the last set so you've done it three lots of two bands so it should look like a T shape. And now we're gonna go along each row. The centre row can be looped all the way to the end. The two side rows can be looped up to the one before the end. So I'm going to go along the centre first. So you're straight through the centre. So you're moving all the horizontal bands out the way as you go. And then going in through this pin you want to push all of the white bands back. So you're just getting the bottom two blue bands and just pulling the white inwards as you loop and then we're going to go all the way along and stop just before we get to the end so that we can attach the other end of the cross. So we're stopping there so you don't loop this one just yet. Same the other side, so pushing back all the bands, taking the bottom two blue ones, pulling this inwards as you loop so that it isn't pulled the other way by the bands, and then looping all the way along until you get to the second to last pin. So what you should have. So you've looped all the way along the centre and you've stopped just before the last pin so you've still got one more to loop on each of the side pins. We're now going to take our hook through the cap band like that and we're going to stretch it all the way to the pin at the top in the corner on the opposite side so it's going diagonally like this. Same with the other one, so finding the cap band, put your hook through and you're pulling it all the way, all the way, and it came off, zipped off my hook there, so just going all the way across and just putting the cap band around like that. And now we can loop up here now to loop this end here you need to start with whichever band you will see that where you put your middle bands across here if you can see there you've got one band on top of the other so whichever band is on the bottom you want to loop last. So for instance these bands are on top of these bands so I need to loop these bands first 
and doing it this way will mean that these will come through and they will loop everything else in so that when you tie it it will be secure and you won't have any loose bands that will unravel so then loop up this depends on which way around you've put them on as to which way you have to do it so you're all looped up then take the blue and white bands that are here place your hook down pull up those two bands through the centre of the pin on your hook cross them over and pull them tighten you can then remove this design from your loom working your way all the way along, just taking all the bands off of each pin, and here we have our Scottish flag, so just give it a tug, make sure that the, the white crosses are crossed, you can stitch through if you wish, through the centre, so place your hook through, with a single white band, hook it on the end, pull that through, do the same again the other side and then slip knot it behind. I'm going to leave mine like this because I think it possibly looks better. This one is stitched so it doesn't move so much but I kind of like this one like this. So there we have it. We have a Scottish flag. So I hope you've enjoyed making this. Um, please like and comment, let me know what you think of this design and of my tutorials. Please subscribe if you'd like to be notified when I bring out new tutorials, which at the moment is quite often because I'm working quite hard at it. I am also on Instagram, so if you'd be lovely to see your finished results on these or any of my designs, so you can find me on there, at Sad is Looming, if, if you follow me you'll see my designs on there too. I'm on Twitter, again, at Sally's Looming, so if you want to follow me and I put my designs on there as and when I do them. And I am also on Facebook. So if you search Sally's Looming, all one word, and you will find my group, and you can share your pictures on there too. I always like to see how these things turn out in different ways or different things that you've tried with these designs as a base. Um, yeah. If you'd like to request any other flags or any other designs, if you let me know, if you message me or send me a message or a comment or whatever you want to do on either Facebook, Twitter or comment underneath this video and I will do my best for you to see what I can come up with. And I think that is it. So thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed making this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.